you know that song, uh, 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 Radioactive, that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who sings ooh, it? Uh, 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 I don't know, like fucking, I uh, fucking Maroon 5. No. No, it's, 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 who sings Sorry? It's, or who who sings, it's too late to apologize. Imagine, um, uh. Imagine Dragons? Oh, Imagine Radio Dragons. Act Imagine act. Dragon these nuts on your face. No! Yes! 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 Wait, Amber what? cut off Johnny Depp's finger. I haven't been watching. With a glass bottle. How, how have you not Because been I scroll right past it. Why? Because I go on TikTok for cooking videos and criminal minds edits. I don't need to be you know that in, it's the in most the courtroom. Enthralling thing. See, I'm just I've got criminal minds to keep me in company. I don't yeah. get on TikTok at all anymore. I haven't been on TikTok in a month. Yeah, it's mind cancer. Except except to yeah. post. I'll post something every now and then. Um. Well, Connor, I just have to ask, how are you feeling? Great, honestly, you're good? so so you're weirdly, feeling, so good. You're feeling good. Yeah. Connor was nervous for you, Cody. Why? Because you're our you're our boss. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's like weird having. <laughs> you know, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. fired. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. You are uh, too. So, like, as like a uh, okay, as coworkers, we collectively were like, okay, we have to. Speak for yourself. Performance. It's almost like a performance review today. Right. That's true. And no profanity, please. Yeah. I'll try Otherwise, and keep it together. You're fired. Okay. We actually don't cuss that much. I, do. I cuss I, a little. I, I, I think I, little. I think I cuss a little. What's your favorite cuss word? Probably cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Probably cunt. <laughs> Is there any more left? There's no other words left. That's the that's the funniest word. Cuss yeah, word. Yeah, I mean. Um. Because I tried to think of a bad, because I, I can't think of any other words that are funny. To say in place yeah. of fuck, like fuck is funny for that right, thing. Right, right. And I, I, I wasn't on TikTok when that happened, so I was just hearing people say like, probably fuck. And so I've just been like slipping it into like, like. Just when, like not knowing the origin. You know, instead of smash or pass. Yeah. Now I'm like, probably fuck. Like as like a different. And then people are like, oh, that, that was good last month. Yeah, probably. Last month, probably fuck. Or like any, no, they're like that's a good reference. Oh, I'm behind. That was really solid. That would have been. I love a reels. Great joke. I love Instagram reels <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Facebook. Um, but like whenever a restaurant, you know, we're like booking something or like making a reservation, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Blue taco, yeah, probably fuck. <laughs> it's probably fuck. It's pretty dank. That's funny. You're fired. Thank. Oh, uh, that happened within 120 seconds of starting. How do you guys Our do toast. with these fucking earphones? It's too they loud. Suck. I feel f completely fine. Are your th are your ear holes too tight? <laughs> <laughs> we could have, loosen them I up. Do Brooke, have, Brooke, I do get have, in there and loosen them up. I do have tight. We have ear different. Holes. We have different size plugs to kind of loosen you up. No, if I'm, you need. I just don't like hearing my own voice. <laughs> oh, I don't you know. can you hear your yeah. own voice? or your guys's? <laughs> That's fair. But can't you hear your own voice without the headphones? Or is there some sort of? Yeah, but this makes it like more. It's like I'm tripping. Oh, like I can hear. It's like it's I'm in my out, own fucking the brain. source is coming from your brain yeah. rather than out. I understand. Yeah. I, I just don't know. I don't know any any different. This is how I was raised. How? On what? the headphones. Oh yeah, that's true. Speak of the devil. Oh shit. I was gonna Okay. I was gonna wait to do this, but there's no better point than right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my headphones out because I'm gonna show you guys. Um now, like recently I've been like getting on Amazon when I'm drinking and and like I'm actually doing stuff that I am like nah, good move cuz like <laughs> so one of those things came in today and I meant to bring it and I forgot but I guess at some point uh last week I bought a plot of land in Ireland and I'm a lord so you guys <laughs> I meant to come in with that today but Lord Connor Wood which is you're kidding No, I got my certificate in the mail. Where do you have it? I forgot to bring it, but I'll I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, uh, is this a bit? Are you? No, I promise. I promise. How much you. was the plot of land? If you don't mind me asking, one hundred fifty bucks. Oh, it's a one foot by one foot square. Oh, so I won't be moving anytime soon. <laughs> well, can we go visit? <laughs> well, when I when I save up some cash, I'm gonna buy a second one by one, 
And then like it's just inve- you buy prop- one by ones after one by ones, and then eventually property. You have- Cody, you know this. Property is the best investment right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's only going. It's only going up in value. So, so, so you are a lord. Yep. So I f- should be like I feel like I, I should. I don't know the. You go ahead yeah. and do the, that. The, what uh, are you doing? Where's we do need HR. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thanks. That is that? I think that's what you're sweet. supposed to do. For I don't know, but it just gave me the chills a little. Do you bit. want me to do it? I'm um, not... okay, you can stay over there. That Maybe was really flattering. Off. He's yeah, a lord. Yeah. Um, yeah, lord. And I'm uh, a lady. No, you're not. I uh, am by title. No, if you buy your, if you purchase your title, I on man, TikTok, you know what? my username, money, lady. Ah, money mm. talks. It seems like anybody. It seems like no one wants to get off their ass and buy a fucking title these days. <laughs> Just become a lord. It's pretty easy. What prompted you to do that, if you don't mind me asking? You know, I started drinking, uh, for the first time in my life, I started drinking white wine. So it was Prosecco that That'll prompted do me it. to do that. That'll do it. Kind of goes down pretty easy. You'd be shocked. And I, w- I don't think I would. Um, oh, but here's what I was going to say. So, so that came in the mail. Obviously, my please don't destroy merch came in the mail. Great shirt, thank I, you. Really no, I mean they—they they really nailed. I love, I love a coming down the sleeve yeah. situation. I was so jealous of that, and I asked Connor if they sent it to him, and he said yes after he sent them money. Yeah, <laughs> after I purchased it, they, they, they sent it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I gifted them <laughs> yes some money, some and they were able to send that to him free of charge. Yeah. In return, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing that came in the mail, and what I love is that I had when I got home, um. Oh, I got a lot to hit, but okay. I'm gonna try to stay okay. on one track. Um, one my I, favorite part of your guys' show is when Connor like gets ahead of himself. Right. Yeah, but I, all, thoughts go too fast. All like, you can, <laughs> uh huh. All was, you can do is just breathe. sit here and let it happen. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's fucking awesome. I was watching Noel the other day. See what I'm doing right now. So, but he, and he was like, "Oh, I have something for that," and then finished his current story, and then you talked, and then he still came back to that. Mm. I was like, "That is an incredible feat." So when you got back last night, when I got back last night, um. Four parking tickets. Okay. <laughs> what? Which is cheaper still than parking at LAX. And where were you, by the way, this weekend? I was in Hawaii. Of course. And I'll get to that. For the weekend. I'll get to that. Yeah. So I uh, get home and didn't lock my door. <laughs> and I had about 11 to 15 packages outside, mm-hmm. just al- allowing people to know that this guy's not home. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got home and I was like, <laughs> you know what? My neighbor was either killed or something last week i it's, heard the story about your the yeah your fuck the guy uh, dying on up, your property update on that still dead okay mm-hmm. um no bird in my house i have no idea what the deal is there anyway so get home have all these deliveries outside one of them in particular i have no memory of and like this could be adhd or drinking i, I don't know but check this out <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't so even excited. imagine what I'm, could I'm possibly I'm really be. nervous i am too i'm so nervous so first of all, hang on. Oh, I got so much shit in my pockets. <laughs> I found a rock outside too. Hang on. Just like Monopoly pieces <laughs> and like what? <laughs> Golf tees. Doo-doo. What could this possibly? I be? haven't no idea. If you had a guess. So oh, both. Okay. Why are there? Uh, if you're anything like me, you've listened to music. Yes. yes. So I, I, when I go on runs, I, I listen to music, and I get home and I do a little bit, like I, I hit my pull up bar once or twice, but I want to listen to music. And then when I get in the shower, when I get in the shower, I don't want to take my music out. I'm like fired up. I like want to get in the shower, wash off. Check this out. Can I just say for audio listeners only, for some reason, Connor's replaced his podcasting headphones with his AirPods. Oh, he's now placing a mini shower cap over one ear that has the AirPod inserted into it. <laughs> he's now placing the second mini shower cap onto his other ear. I, I'm floored. To give you a little visual here, I can shower with my AirPods in now. So I bought 150 of these. 150? Yeah. That's the smallest quantity they'll sell them in. And that's okay. So they're disposable. They're not reusable? I I mean, I reuse. Right. (laughs) 
So you have you actually used them? <laughs> I used these this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you listening to in the shower? This morning I was listening to, to uh, Nora Jones because I was trying to chill out a little bit. I slept for no time last night. I got in it. I my flight landed at one thirty. Why the do you always do that? I Why don't know. Do I don't know how he can. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes it actually, I think it actually helps. I, I think you're motivated by extreme chaos. I, I would agree with that. I like I think, to be on the go. I like to be a guy on the go. As your boss, yeah. I think you need to give yourself a little bit more buffer. And also sure. you're fired. <laughs> and sure. also you're fired. While we're at it. Yeah, okay. I, nothing is giving me greater joy than the picture you... Oh, I'm going to rephrase the way I... I was going to say butt naked. <laughs> Yeah, putting on those shower. Is that caps. getting you going over there? It's not the butt naked part. It's the butt naked in addition to putting the shower cap. What about kind of like going? <laughs> like a little bit of this? Ooh, with my shower caps on. Because I, I also feel like it, they're the kind of like the perfect size for, like, <laughs> for what? Like if you were to use it on your penis, like, a, like a shower cap, but for the other like head, ear. AirPod Just condoms. for the tip of my penis? Yeah, in case you were like, I don't know, didn't want to get your... Didn't you want to get the <laughs> right. tip of my penis <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Like a little... You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I don't know, maybe... It's, it's like if I you're... I do know You know, you, know you got some... You're treating it or something. You know? yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of yeah. reasons why, like, why you use it on your head is because you don't want your hair, because maybe you're like, you know, right. washed it or right. something like so that. So next time I get the, the tip of my penis bleached, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. I right. actually thought of a reason... It it can stay in my head, actually. No, no, no. You know, I don't know if you've ever been in like a really like insane salty ocean, like the Dead Sea. Okay. <laughs> and it's like if you pee in it, it's like they tell you not to pee in it, but of course you're going to be curious. <laughs> Wait, what? And what? you're going to pee a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And it's truly the most excruciating feeling. While you're peeing? Like the salt just like go, like while the pee's coming out, the salt goes up, kind of. Oh. And if you wanted to put a shower cap on in the Dead Sea, maybe a penis shower cap in the Dead Sea, right, to prevent the salt, but also the pee would fill up the shower cap. So just just forget I said anything. Wow, no. maybe there's a there's actually like a product market fit here for people that visit the Dead Sea the that want to pee in often it. that want to <laughs> yeah. pee in for it. shower caps for their penis yeah. head that won't fill up with yeah. pee. Yeah, you're welcome, Shark Tank. <laughs> I, w- Hello, sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'll be asking for four million dollars in exchange for. Well, a couple of my penis caps. Why don't you just get a speaker in the bathroom? It's kind of like a, it's a, just a process. Like, I want to have a really streamlined. That's not a process? <laughs> you just, it took you like a solid three minutes to get them out of your pocket I'm not and then wearing, place each one over your ear. I'm not wearing my Dickies 501 brown slacks into the shower so I don't have to fish through them. Yeah. Dickies would be a great name for the penis shower cap. Yeah. God Full damn. circle, that was really good, Cody. Fucking go. <laughs> that is really good. Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. And that's what I love about it is that there's so, there's so much versatility to this this platform Mm -hmm. in college when I thought that I was going to be an entrepreneur I did make a Squarespace site and that was the easiest part of being an entrepreneur wow I didn't make you know any money but I did make a site and that's awesome I think that's what we can walk away with today thank you Connor Squarespace also offers online appointment scheduling add online bookings and scheduling to your for your classes or sessions to your Squarespace website clients can easily see your availability or reschedule if needed, taking the hassle out of coordinating calendars. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. You can also stand out in any inbox with your Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with the email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. You know what you can do? Tell me. You can go to squarespace.com forward slash BNC for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, use offer code BNC to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Wait, my merch is launching on Squarespace. Really? Tomorrow. Yes, nice Lord. Plug. I know. Yeah. So anyway, just look out for that. And thanks. You know, I'll go ahead and pop these off. Now, I want to hear you guys. Last talk. question about the 
shower caps. Was that something you were actively searching for or did that just kind of come onto your feed and you thought, I have to have that? Yeah, yeah. how do you like... How do you put that in the Google search? Yeah, there's no like for you page on right. Amazon. Right. Like Amazon doesn't suggest you cool things. It's just like, hey, purchasers of these also bought these. So mm-hmm. how did you find these? That's what I was kind of thinking of because I was like, it's pretty incredible this this new phase I'm going into where... um. I'm kind of looking out for myself in ways that I wouldn't be able to to really break down and describe. I don't know the logic behind it. It's incredible, though. That's so, so how would you find it? So you don't remember is what you're saying? Yeah, uh, I was probably blacked out. Probably blacked out. Okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> um, Do you have a you have a, a gift? So I did go to Hawaii. That, no, I know I'm right. Okay. I did go to Hawaii this weekend, um, and I brought you guys some some gear. Oh, oh Connor. Um, Cody. It's going to be I know. I got you some pukas. Oh, nice. Thank you, man. So we got Cody a, that is a puka so shell you, necklace. Cody. Are these cool again? I feel like they might be. I can't remember if they already came and went to be cool with like TikTok. I or... think it like goes with the early 2000s trend of yeah. like puka. You know, we would wear those puka shell necklaces at camp. Sure, and stuff. sure. Do you need help? Let me just toss it on real. Yeah, yeah. And then Brooke. Yeah, Connor. I got you this. Traditional Hawaiian lighter for your candles and all your weed that you smoke. Thank you so much. <gasps> and there's a woman dancing on it. Yeah. That is so me. Yeah, that she is um, a traditional hula dancer. Thank you, Connor. Yeah. Oh, oh. And I got. I feel horrible. I, I didn't get you anything. Too. So I'll pop these on oh, too. Boys. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is really good. Thank you. To be honest. I would never be anything but honest. It looks fucking amazing. Cody. <laughs> Does it really? Yes. <laughs> I love Seriously. Because I haven't really seen the pukas. Like obviously, like the, the you know the beaded necklaces are cool. I haven't again. seen but those. The pukas are still kind of a joke. Yeah. yeah I did the. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it it looks good. I did the pearl necklace thing for one single day at ACL and got ripped to shreds by my college friends. They were like, "We lost you fully. You're so LA." That's it. Yeah. And I was like, in the field, just ripped the them off. Yeah. I still like them. I mean, I started with this ring to like as a joke. And, right. You know, now it's. Now it's not so much a joke. It's not so much a joke. No. Yeah. Um. Okay, Cody. Well, Connor and I kind of are trying to start this new segment this week, and okay. you're, our, you're our guinea pig for okay. it. We created a shared notes app okay. that we could just kind of jot things down on during the week. And then circle back during the podcast. So we're going to visit that, talk about a few of the things we wrote down, and see if we can try to decipher them. Sure. Well, what do you think? Yeah, no, I like that. Does that and sound I, good? I also, yeah, it sounds awesome. Okay. Is this segment called Circle Back? It can be. It could be, yeah. It, that's an option. Yeah. Thank you, Cody. I love it. So glad we have you here, yeah. boss. Thank you. I'm already, I'm seeing a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Uh. So one that did catch my attention when I was going over it last night, and I am going to pull it up on my mm-hmm. phone just for an intimate look. Connor, and I'm sorry for not understanding this right off the bat. Can you explain what you meant by finger me? I must be dreaming. Yeah, because so I was in Hawaii this weekend. The weather was so nice, and I was just like sitting on, we were in Makapu Beach. There's a lighthouse, and you're just looking out at these waves and these islands, and I was like, pinching would not be enough right now. Uh Uh-huh. Finger me, I must be dreaming. When pinching's not enough? It could be even like if it's just something that is just like taking you by surprise. Fist me, I must be dreaming. Awesome. Like, this is incredible. What I love is the visual of you taking it all in on the beach and then having those thoughts and then pulling out your notes app and, and, and typing furiously finger. on them. Finger me, I must Knowing be dreaming. Knowing that Brooke is going to see that too. Yeah. Fist I love me. Fist me, I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. I like that a lot. Thank you for sharing of that. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, and, I'm and happy to do it. Also, feel free for the listeners to use that. Please. Yeah. Because that's a great thing. Possible <laughs> merch idea, even, I'd say. <laughs> Fist me, I must be dreaming. Fist me on the front, back, I must be dreaming. That's an, what else an inside joke. Yeah. It's, just leave it. It could just be blank, I must be dreaming, and you could write it in with Sharpie. Oh. It's an inside joke. Ad lib style. That's good. Whatever you and your friends are into. Is there anything you're kind of wondering about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hop in here. Yeah. Cool um, well, I'm. If I someone, don't... this is the second one, if someone accidentally cut in front of you in line, would you say something to them? Okay. And, uh, and did you did you ask I that question? I wrote that. I'm the type of person where, um, no, I would stand there and get really frustrated right. and like almost say something and look around at the other people like, do you believe this fucking? Guy? Yeah. 
well, believe what happened here, but I would never confront that person because I'm a pussy. Right. Well, let me explain. Something happened to me twice this week that prompted me to write that down, and I can't tell if I'm the problem or. I think it's really cool that I you're, think you're I th- taking a step back to consider I th- that it could be. You. I'm thinking it, it might be me because I was the cutter in both scenarios. The first time I was at Equinox, you were the cutter. Mm-hmm. But it was not on purpose. Listen, let me let me clarify. Cut or be cut, you know. Yeah, I guess. But again, not on purpose. The first time was at Equinox. There not were... like don't, don't. No, it's not like self harm. It's mental it's mental health Sorry. awareness month. Uh-huh. So, so. Um, I was at Equinox. Mm-hmm. I was buying a water bottle, so I had one item. That's important for context. And there was this guy kind of lingering. I didn't think he was in line, and I went to buy my water bottle, and he just goes. You, you cut in front of me. And I was like, oh, God, so sorry. And then he proceeds to buy one item, and then I buy my one item. And then immediately, I'm even though I was the cutter, my response was to be angry with him. Because, like, what 35-year-old man is going to tell a little girl that she cut in front of him to buy a water bottle? That's where my mind went. Even though I technically was the one in the wrong, he became the one in the wrong, too. What if his wife is in labor? He was diddle-dallying. Dilly dallying. What was that? He was diddle dallying. His did- life was, wasn't in labor. He was diddle dallying so much that I didn't even know if he was in line. I guess I could have asked, but anyway, it happened again, which is why I'm thinking I'm the problem. What I happened in, the second time? I cut in front of this woman. But again, didn't see her. We were lonely, two people in line. She was dilly dallying. And then she said, I was actually in front of you. And I said, Oh, God, sorry. Of course, I'm apologizing profusely. I feel horrible. But again, I can't help but think I would never, ever, ever say anything. To anyone if they did that to me yeah would you no right so i don't think right? that, i don't know i no. i think that i'm a little bit i think there's a there's there. a there's a win there where it's like you were like oh my bad if there was a if there was an onlooker and they're looking and they're like oh like that was weird that they said something right and you took it and you're like oh my bad now this takes a full different form when you're on a plane and I, this happened to me yesterday. Oh, the fucking people that show up late. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Two things okay, that happened okay, okay. yesterday. So, when you're boarding a plane, and say you're in group three, and you're, you wait Never. and you wait and you wait and you wait. You, I know you can't relate. Like, <laughs> Cody flies I'm joking. private. I'm joking. Um, I don't, first of all. Um, you get to the front of group three, and then a family of four that was it, that's in group two comes they get to technically go into group one and two, and they do it. You're fully in your rights mm-hmm. to do it, but everybody else, like all the plebeians, fucking hate you. I don't care how old you're. Oh, when you pull up with like offspring? I mean, no. Like if you go into that second line, even though you're technically in front of everybody because you're in group one and two, oh. but they're boarding group three and four, they're allowed to go up oh, and cut you. Oh, I understand what you're saying, but yeah, I agree. Personally, I wouldn't do that. Right. You've kind of lost your chance yeah. to take advantage of group one and two. I think in these situations, technically, that person is scientifically in the right. Hank but Green they shouldn't. Would I say think that. in both situations of telling me that I budged in front of them, second grade style, and also in your example. Just keep it to yourself. Here's a fucking kicker. Tell me. If I'm getting off the plane and I don't want to be one of those people that stands up right away, I'm playing it cool. Even if I'm in the aisle, I'm sitting there. We can't get off in front. If you're in behind me and you've got your shit and you're walking mm-hmm. up, do not. Don't. Mm-hmm. Do not. That's so weird mm-hmm. to do. It's so it's fucking It's so weird. weird. And I don't want But then I start being the weirdo because I'm like, it's like when a car is on the shoulder trying to get out in front of everybody. And I was in there and I was like, you know, I don't want to go all the way to the end of this because then it's everybody else's problem. That's what you're doing. And then it has to be my issue. I have to be the martyr here. I have to step in and be like, this is not. You can't do this. Is this making sense? Wait, I'm so sorry. Can you repeat the first thing? Because I think I do it. You're fine about the first thing. You're justified in that. That doesn't make me as mad. Why? It doesn't make me as mad as when the person in the back of the plane gets up, grabs their bag, and scoots all the way to like row 14 to get off in front of everybody. When oh no, no, the worst, the worst is you get up or like the ding, you know, seatbelt sign, ding. You at the gate, whatever. Everyone's standing up, so you stand up and you like start grabbing your shit, and the dude like right behind you tries to like start sneaking Sneak by and yeah. you, just, you can't wait five fucking seconds yeah i mean these oh are the most, here most, i'll pop most... that's actually what did the bruise to my brook can't get oh, her I giant can't water open that. Open. thank you 
Thank Anyways, you. I, I we're we're all kind of having that was the that was the most uh, well said take out of the, the plane thing, my lord, and my liege. liege. Um, did I tell you <clears throat> that story about me accepting my diploma in college, my undergrad? No, what happened? No. Um, went out on Thursday, got so drunk, woke up, didn't set an alarm, and I woke up to my parents knocking at my door, and I threw my like cap and gown on. We had to go to a bar because it's like tradition to go to this bar before UT graduation. Cain and Abel's hook them. And we get to graduation and I had not eaten since the night before and I was probably still drunk. And I fully just like blacked out. Do not remember walking the stage, That's like good. hugged all my professors that I, I, I never really liked any of my professors, but I was like, I love you so much. You changed my life. And they're like, what? what's going on? And like, I accept my diploma. And I remember one of my, you know, you hand the card in and it's like, Connor, Connor Wood. Right. Um, I kneeled and said, to accept my diploma, I said, my liege. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents have a video of it. And they were like, we have oh. no idea what you're doing. And I was like, I've never said that in my life. Please insert the video oh, here. Have to, if, I, if, I've, I've never actually watched it, but. I'm hoping you can find that. Cody, were you going to say something? No. Hey guys, um, we wanted to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, and vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. With Green Chef, you get organic ingredients and sustainably sourced produce, so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. With Green Chef, you're reducing your food waste by at least 25% versus grocery shopping, according to HelloFresh Global Food Waste Study. So Green Chef actually offers 24 always changing recipes to choose from every week, so you never get bored, which is super important. Uh, Green Chef's expert chefs curate every recipe so you can enjoy restaurant quality dishes at home without compromising on taste. And I would never dream of compromising on taste. You wouldn't. Not in my wheelhouse. If I know one thing about you. I know. I know. Not a taste She's compromiser. For me right yep. here. My favorite Green Chef recipe is, I mean, it's hard to choose one of them. I love If they, you had to, though. If I had to choose yeah. one, probably the stir fry. Root, yum. Yeah, because it was so easy and I love stir fry. What if you had to choose two? <laughs> choose two? Probably the... You could do so much with chicken nowadays. Mm -hmm. probably, the chicken they... That's a good point, yeah. Connor. Go to greenchef.com slash... BNC130 and use code BNC130. Can I interrupt to you? Get, yeah, of course. My actual favorite recipe was the spicy chicken and veggie stir fry. That's amazing. That's what I was trying you were, to remember. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Go on. Go to greenchef.com slash BNC130 and use code BNC130 to get 130. That's 130. $130 off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash BNC130 and use code BNC130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. Yum. Anyways, what? which one of these is next? Well, I'm just really curious. I wrote down um, everything everywhere all at once because I saw that movie uh -oh. this week. Cody, did you see that? <laughs> Uh, it's, she it's really a whole liked it also. It's no, a, I didn't say that. <clears throat> it's a whole thing. Do you not even want to get into it at all? No, I just am going to get torn apart for it again. But I went to it, and then I left it after 30 minutes. Not because the movie was bad, because right. I don't like being at the movie theater. Why don't you like being in the movie theater? I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't have fun. I'm nervous. I'm Why'd just you go sitting the there. I don't, like, like... I don't like watching a movie beside people I don't know. I don't know. I just... Okay. Do you think that you'll watch it when it comes out? On yes, streaming 100%. services? I really enjoyed the first 30 okay. minutes. Well, you enjoyed it, wow, so much that you had to leave. Why'd you get torn apart for for walking out? Do you not I, support your local theaters? Yeah, I don't know, because people are like, what? AMC is actually like a small business. That's weird that you would walk out. And yeah, it. It. yeah, it is a local. It's a nice mom, mom, and, and, pop. mom and pop shop. Yeah. yeah. As a Canadian, that's kind of disrespectful to... Yeah. You know, no, I just, it, I don't know. I, I, I can't really explain it. I just, I for some reason, like, Three, four years ago, I was like, I don't like this. And then, never since then, I just can't do it. And this was the first time I've been to the theater in like so three years. So you were trying yeah. to go back and easier. Yeah, I was trying. I was like, let's you do were. it. We went to like a little dine-in uh -huh. theater. It was like a, you know, you got a meal. It was like a, like a decent seat. Uh-huh. Just couldn't do it, huh? No, I was like, it's just, 
I don't know. The speakers sucked. It was just not a good. Well, if it's a bad experience, it's a bad experience. Yeah, I get yeah. that. I the last movie I walked out of was March of the Penguins. <laughs> I don't. That was a good movie. Couldn't couldn't stomach it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever walked out of a movie. I fainted in the middle of Black Swan because it was too overwhelming. No, I think I was dehydrated, and there was a part I wasn't feeling well. And then there was a part where she like peels back her finger, mm. and then I was like, okay, I'm really not feeling well. And then I stood up, and then just like fainted and craw- like crawled up the aisle and no one did anything and I was just crawling my way and then the bathroom I was like also like I was so out of it I was crawling up up because I was like I unconscious basically (laughs) and no one was was doing anything and then I like crawled my way out to the concession stand to try to go to the bathroom there's like teenagers behind the popcorn stand no one's doing anything I'm on all fours like dying essentially of dehydration and whatever was happening my Those da- carpets are normally pretty yeah. clean, though, so I think you're... My dad, yeah, you're that's good. a good point. I'm probably fine. <laughs> that's not where COVID started or Yeah, anything. no, definitely not. Um, but my dad had to come pick me up, and that's the only movie I ever... N- and I never saw it, never finished, but Lax Mon, because I'm too... I've never seen it. PTSD. And have you been back to the theater? No, they closed it down. No, <laughs> <laughs> I meant, like, just in general. Oh, oh. A theater. Yeah, I just went to go see everything everywhere all oh, okay, at once. right, right. We just talked about that. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Cody. Um, Which... I still don't know how I felt about it, but I think you need to see that movie without knowing anything about it. Yeah. Everything yeah. everywhere all the uh, Exactly. Yes. That's the one. Who's in it? That's, remember when I was telling you I went to go see Jimmy Kimmel Live and Jamie Lee Curtis was like off her rocker promoting a new movie? Mm-hmm. It was that movie. Wait, so she's so Jamie in, Lee she's Curtis in is in it. Oh, she's great in it. Yeah, she is really good. Um, but How do you know? Because I saw 30 the first minutes. Fu- first oh, 30 minutes. minutes. She was like, insufferable. Yeah. Like just she but hilarious. Yeah. Like everyone's it, hilarious. Like every character was fantastic. Funny movie? It's yeah. really everything. Not it's, it is funny. It's everything. It's everything everywhere. And all also it's all at once in addition mm-hmm. to that. Um, okay, well, good to know. I guess we'll I mean I have to see it. Yeah, I, w- I would. Um, in theaters if you can stomach it. Yeah, I, I like it. I like going to theaters. Last last movie I saw in theaters was uh, Jackass, the new Jackass movie. Oh my god. How funny is that movie? Well, see, I think I was talking to you about it. I was okay. talking to maybe it was Ryan. Um, I was like, I really liked the movie. Like, I grew up on those movies. I was just trying to explain to Brooke what the movies were, but like that was what we did. Like, we pushed each other down hills and shopping carts and like broke our arms and shit because it was fun. And I went and saw that movie, and it was really good. But it made me sad seeing how old like Johnny Knoxville is. Yeah, but they look surprisingly good. <laughs> well, when they do, when at the end of it, when like Ryan Dunn is dead and like. Like everybody's, they show the clips twenty five years apart, and it's like, damn, twenty five years. Yeah, it's crazy. I've never seen a jackass. It's or, similar. Or I don't even know to like. Uh, Black what is Mirror? it similar to? Yeah, it's similar to Black Mirror in many ways. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's a social commentary. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty intricate. Check it out. Um, You'll you have should. to. Yeah. You should. That it's definitely up your alley. It's the, for example, the um. The opening sketch of the new movie is um, one of the guys has his, it's Chris Pontius, I believe, right? Yeah. He's got his penis painted green like Godzilla. Awesome. And it's like wreaking havoc on a little diorama of a city. And the balls are the legs. And they shoot it to make it look like it's a gigantic See, size monster. There we go. That's how there we And go. it's his full penis. What? That could have been a really good use for the dicky, because if they had painted his penis, <laughs> and they it's, needed to protect the paint job on the head, <laughs> exactly. Let's wow, go. full circle. Wow, this show is full of free ideas every week. That's amazing. Um, that was a revelation. That that, that was, really was. That was really good. That was really really good. Wow. And I'm glad that we could uh, that, see that to fruition. Thank you. Connor. If anybody wants to invest, hit my line. <laughs> I have 150 hitting, of them. Hitting as we speak. <laughs> Can we watch this Cara Delevingne? Delevingne? Yeah, and uh, you, you know who this is, right? Uh, she's a model, right? Or an actress? She's both. Okay. Yeah. She's an actress? Yeah, but- she was in Paper Town. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just peeking. So I saw- Get ready to wreak havoc. I saw a tweet. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. 
But is she? Hold on, I, I need some like background here. Is she weird? Is like, do people I think she's she's eccentric? Okay. But eccentric. she hasn't no. ever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Basically, is this old? What, can you play yeah. this? Just yeah, 2018. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she killed yeah. that shit. Right. She killed that. She very much doesn't care what anyone. This is pretty like, funny. That picture. I don't That's think I get a, it. You don't get those uh-huh. things. I don't get it either. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll have to put it up on the visual now. Everyone else will get it, surely. Right. But that was like uh it was a normal Tuesday afternoon. Sarah was at home and everything was like great until it until tragedy struck and then it goes negative. Oh like <laughs> the image. <laughs> like oh okay. uh, you know? that yeah, yeah. Have oh wow. That. No, okay. No I guess way. we'll see if yeah. anyone else knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, so she just like went to the billboard. Fired. <laughs> she went to the the billboard thing, and this girl, I don't, Kara is like just being a weirdo the whole time. What? Can we play this video? <laughs> I uh, I don't even want to see this. It's gonna make I hate this. I shit. can't watch that kind of stuff either. It makes me so uh-huh. uncomfortable. Ooh. <sighs> it's like oh. it's like in high school the girls that like. Do you think she's on something? Yeah, or? she's on. She's one hundred percent on some amphetamine. I can't, yeah, I also really struggle to watch this kind of stuff. It's so painful. What's she doing here? Oh, dear God. What's going on here now? Why would... Yeah, she's just, uh, like, getting in every every situation as much oh, as she can. It's so uncomfortable. It's, and it's always, I always feel bad because it's, like, there's a fine, fine line between making someone a meme and also, like, are they okay? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, it seems like something might be going on. So, yeah, this is or, the one or I... Or she's s- doing a bit. No. So, I, is this Meg the Stallion again? No, that's Azealia Banks. Oh, right. Okay. And she's licking her. Um, and, and she's clearly, like, uncomfortable with right. it. Right. Oh, yeah, God. Like, yeah. they're not in on it. Yeah. I don't know. Connor? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I had something I was gonna say. I just like it's freaky to watch and it's hard. I like almost can't look, but I would just like to see like her and Julia Fox fight it out in the ring. They're yeah. two of like the weirdest people that are invited to every single event. Can oh. we pull up Julia Fox's grocery shopping outfit? <laughs> what? Like full on. Okay, just, how do like, you describe this for the people that are just listening? For the people that are just listening, what we're seeing here is what looks like denim to me. A denim blazer paired with a denim cowgirl French boot coat. and that's basically it except for a pair a bra and underwear she said and that i think if it's socially acceptable to wear the beach it should be everywhere just saying lol yeah that's what she said yeah well this is not socially acceptable on the beach first of all um julia fox on the denims and underwear at the grocery store candids I just think that if it's socially acceptable at the beach, it should be the same everywhere, lol. I've never seen. I've never seen anyone wear that in the. Ocean. I mean, you're a psycho if you go to the yeah. beach with jeans on. Yeah, jean boots as well. Jean boots. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's. I think. I think what we're gonna see is that she's, she's so easy to make fun of, that it's right. actually gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna make some waves. This, in in term, you know, in beach terminology. Oh, you think she's like innovating beach fashion like can yeah, i just say that, i really can i tell you this I'm one calling. story i yeah, was doing please. a hike last weekend really hard hike like i was approaching the top of the hill huffing and puffing mm-hmm. sweating so like profusely sweating feeling really like really proud of myself the endorphins were pumping sure, sure. right proud of you already. I had this beautiful view mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow, I really did something really tough today. And I achieved yeah. this elevation gain. And then this guy passes me in jeans. <gasps> something yeah. similar happened to me. And I couldn't fucking believe it. I could not believe it. I think that there's a lot of uh, power being wielded when you do shit like that's so insane like this. Yeah. Like you wouldn't do it unless you had some sort of like superpower or you're on drugs and both of the scenarios yeah i mean i'm like do you have to be so in shape that you're like i just i need to i this is too easy at this point i need to i need to chafe right right i saw speak of the devil i am chafing pretty bad that's why i keep moving 
Really? Yeah, I just wanted to normalize chafing it's, really quick. I don't pretty, think I really, I say I'm chafing, but I'm not 100% sure I know what it is. Is it? You know when you know. You don't know what chafing I, is? I think I do. Is it just when you're like rubbing together? Yeah, when your skin rubs yeah, together okay. and it, like, gets then raw. Yeah, okay, then I do know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty chafed right I'm now I'm always well. chafed. Really? If I'm being honest, I'm super rashy. From right? what? <laughs> my wetsuit. I have like the <laughs> worst rash. Dude, right I do. Oh my God. I do too under my arms because we surfed a little bit yesterday and I wore a shirt because we didn't, you don't have to wear a wetsuit, but I was, I always get such bad shit under my arms and on my chest. And I won't tell you the rest where I'm chafing, but I do need to, can I tell you guys my flight story really quick? Yeah. I want to tell you guys at the beginning. So basically Thursday was the Rolling Stones thing at the Hearst estate in beverly hills and i didn't really know what the deal was but i went and it was really fun and i had a little bit to drink but then afterwards matt king and patricia and delaney that crew and tk were all like let's go to the den and then let's and do you karaoke. had a flight first thing in the morning so at this point i hadn't booked it yet my friends were like can't like would love to have you here but like no pressure we know it's a big flight and i was like yeah and i have to be back tuesday whatever and they're like, okay, no worries. I get to the den, two drinks. I'm like calling them in the bathroom. Yo, I'm going to book the flight right now. At this point, it's 10.30 p.m. Book the flight in the bathroom at the den. And then I was told last week I'm, I talk too slow when I tell stories. So I'm going to try to rush through this. But, oh, shit, hang on. There's a plug in my... How long is the flight to Hawaii? Chief, hang on. It's like six hours. Okay. So five, yeah, five sure. and change. Um, You were just there. And... Something is going on with my headphones, weren't you? No? <laughs> Dreamt that. Um, anyways, so I booked a flight, and there. then I'm like, okay, I booked a flight. It's at 7.30. I cannot do karaoke at Naughty Pig at this present time. Mm -hmm. And then I went and did karaoke at the Naughty Pig, <laughs> and you know, then I was like, okay, I got to go home. So I get home, haven't packed. I pack everything up, set out a water station for the next day, didn't set an alarm. Woke up at like 7 a.m. and was like, I just missed that flight. They rolled me over to the next flight. I get in the Uber. I'm, I'm so close to getting there, so close to getting there. And then I look up from my phone in my Uber. I'm arriving at the Hearst Estate. I didn't even oh. type in LAX. <laughs> 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 I'm arriving at the event place, the, the, the place we had the event You're the kidding. night before. And I'm like, sir, I'm so sorry. I need to go to LAX. And he was like, God damn it. He lit I've never heard an Uber driver be like audibly upset. He was like, what the hell, dude? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't even type in a destination. I just ordered an Uber. And that's like 30 minutes the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. So, um How much was that Uber? Was that was that probably Can't tell you. Was that probably a sign <laughs> that I shouldn't be going to Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah. And so I get there. I'm the guy running through the airport. I'm dripping in sweat. I get on the plane. Um I made it and then I was in Hawaii for 2 days and then I flew home. You are a feat of nature. It was fun, though. It was nice to, like, you know, L L.A., we're always like, oh, yeah, like, the we love living in L.A. because we have the beach. Who's going to the fucking beach in L.A.? Me. Me. I was here this week. I Malibu. Was this weekend. Malibu. I found a secret beach in Malibu this weekend, and you can the water is so clear, you can see right to the bottom. Where is it? I don't know. It's a secret. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, it, I wish oh, I, I apologize could, for I, asking. It, it's completely fine, Cody. I wish I had the information <laughs> oh, yeah. for you. I don't know where I was. But you're not in on the secret. You just I someone... I was able to participate, but I don't have the security clearance. Okay, got it. To know exactly where I was, huh. all I know is that I could see my feet in the bottom, which is nice for LA because you know Santa Monica is just like a different story. I'll try to I get would, those coordinates for you. I would go to the beach in LA, like when. Yeah, I. I mean, I like going and sitting at. I like. I mean, I like Venice, and then I like Malibu. Like, I really don't go to Santa Monica. I go to what's that beach called that you go up? Beach Will beach Rogers. Will Rogers. I yeah, like that. Yeah. I'll go sit there. I'll go in. Yeah. I'll full send. I think it's just different. You know, like I'll go to Orange County to go to the beach. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Hey guys, want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Pros. There is no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. That might surprise you, but a product that works wonders for curls might make straight hair limp and greasy yuck thanks to my person thanks to my personalized pros routine i can honestly say i've never been more in love with my hair 
Pros, that's great. Pros, <laughs> Pros makes custom hair care that's effective because it's personal. Using natural ingredients with proven results, Pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements. <clears throat> First, Pros starts by asking about you as a person with their in-depth consultation. Pros ask me really unexpected things like... Well, for example, when I was taking that quiz, they were wondering about, you know, my exercise habits, which I can confidently say I have them, you know? Yeah. Maybe once once to twice. It would surprise you that they need to ask that for hair care, but it just shows Not that they're going the extra, to me, cause pros extra takes, mile. Because pros takes everything into account, Connor, if I know anything about pros. Including what, like zip code? Yeah, they know that because they sent me the products to my house. You can probably look at my hair. Eating habits? Yeah. Damage level? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's incredible. I know. Next, pros analyze all my answers and determine what my unique blend of ingredients should be in every product of my custom routine. Together, pros got all my hair goals covered. Um, I've been using the shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. And I, before this, have just been using whatever was in the shower. So, like, um... I was using face wash for my hair for right. a while. Yeah. As a carbon neutral certified B Corp, Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible <laughs> beauty. All of their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered, and cruelty free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. Wow. Cool. If you're not 100% positive Pros is the best hair care you've had, they will take the products back, no questions asked. Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com slash BNC. That's pros dot com slash BNC for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. Thanks. Um, there was Right when I moved to LA, I went and my mom was telling me these horror stories about how homeless people are going to kill me and there's needles everywhere. And I was kind of scared to move here, and then I got here, and it was awesome and whatever. And then there is needles everywhere. Yeah, so I go to the beach, and this is like right when I moved moved here, and I go to the beach, and I'm I'm laying there, and I fall asleep at the beach on a Sunday. And I was like, that was awesome, whatever. And the next week, I was like, I am so freaking exhausted. Like, I cannot keep my eyes open. I'm at work, like, chugging cold brew, chugging cold brew, and I'm, like, having, like, five coffees, and I'm like... This is so weird. I could fully fall asleep at this meeting. And so I looked up like, did I lay on a needle at the beach? Like, and am I, do I, am I diseased now? And they're like, yeah, you are. Like WebMD is like, you fully like have AIDS or something. Cause like these are, this is the result of getting blood exchange. I had mono. Ah. Oh my yeah. God, that's really scary. Though. I had mono, but it was really scary. Cause it, you know, when you're like something yeah. super wrong with me. Why? Well, I'm kind of upset. I haven't seen a needle yet. There's needles everywhere. I've been I've been around. They cleaned up a lot, I think, for the Super Bowl. Uh, but there's still needles. Yeah. There's but still needles. Sometimes it's it's when you don't look for them is when you see them. When you're least expecting it. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a couple people smoking crack recently. What I, kind of drug do you even use a needle for? Heroin. It's so scary. Yeah. Speaking of heroin, is anyone watching anything good? Um. <laughs> nice segue. Thank you. Mm. Good. I, I watched. Been doing this for a while, Cody. I watched uh, <laughs> half of the Northman. What's that? Uh, it's a. <laughs> it's a. It's a good. A guy. It's a really like, good movie. He um, lives upstate. Yeah, the North. The in Northman the north, in the north. Yeah, about an okay. Irish guy. No, it's Sounds it's really um, good. it's really good. I don't even know how to describe it honestly, but uh, I do this thing now where I just uh, go to bed at nine thirty. So I start a Me, movie. Mm-hmm. At eight thirty, and I watch half. Nothing better. I haven't finished a movie in like a few months. Really? Yeah. Well, I can recommend some things to you. First of I all, I mean, if if, there, if any of those, if the first half is good, then I'm then, down. To okay. Watch. Well, I've personally been watching a lot of Criminal Minds, and no one's commented on my vest. That's, oh, I love it. Thanks, oh, Cody. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I knit that. Did you really? Yes. It's great. And yeah, thank you. Female body inspector. Yep. Mm-hmm. Give me some. Let's go. Boobs. So you're doing a podcast with a federal agent right now. Yeah, admitting. Yeah. And the law as well. Well, I know. I heard, I heard that they did reach out to you uh, to send you some gear. Yes. Criminal Minds. Criminal oh. Minds reached out. I'm dead ass. I'm going to be getting Criminal Minds merch, which is really exciting. But also, I know 
And FBI, if you're watching this, please take this seriously. If you were to put me, if there were a serial killer wreaking havoc on Los Angeles and you put me in the field, I would I would be able to get him or her. Okay. Depending. It, it's <laughs> yeah, you don't statistically, want... it's most likely to be a him. Yes. And I know that yeah. as a profiler, I would get him in five seconds. Really? As a profiler? I, yes. Be, uh, behavioral analysis. How would you get him? Behavioral analyzing. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. Behavioral analyzing. What does that exactly mean? Sure. Basically, <laughs> what I would be able to do, Cody, is right. analyze the behavior and tell you where this person is exactly. And that's the and behavioral why analysis that's part. That's kind of the behavioral analysis Got piece. it. Okay. Piece. Okay. Yeah. So for that, you're analyzing behavior. I'm and- going to be analyzing the behavior. Mm-hmm. And then through the behavioral analysis, I'll be able to tell you who this is because of his behavior. Right. Okay. Yeah. So... um. Let's make up a murder okay. scene right sure. now. Or I like have a, one. Okay. Give it to me. I would have found Jack the Ripper. I think he would have found you first. <laughs> dare him. I dare him. Jack. John. John. I was Jonathan. Gonna say, um, I don't know how I'm going to kill somebody. I mean, how I would kill somebody. Uh, but I know how I would hide the body. I could probably guess how you would hide the body. Tell me. I, be- I guarantee you won't. Um... <sighs> Basically, Connor, you're yeah. Analyze my behavior. Yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, what? I am. So right now you're fidgeting. Yeah. Which tells me that I'm not medicated for you're... ADHD. No. Basically, that's gonna tell me you're guilty because you're hiding something. Yeah. Okay. Because you're a sexual sadist. <laughs> what? <Excuse me. laughs> what does that mean? He's a sexual sadist. What is a sa- what is a sadist? It's, he's a sadist She's in a sexual me... way. I don't know what a sadist is. Just like someone who inflicts pain. Because he's fidgeting. Is that kind of making sense? Because he's fidgeting, <laughs> you've deduced mm-hmm. that he is a sexual sadist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A person who derives pleasure, especially sexual gratification, from inflicting pain or humiliation on others. Yeah, that's, I stand by what I've said. So he's like a, a dominatrix guy. Yeah, to death, though. <laughs> okay, that's what To it... the point of death. And that's what your sexual release is. Have you ever been so I, horny you <laughs> kill somebody? <laughs> that a sexual sadist has, what Connor. A, okay, well, I. So you're gonna put, you're gonna drown the person, and because you know the person, you're you're gonna put rocks on them so that they sink. What? But what's the sexual part? It's pretty good, Brooke. But that's no. the sexual piece. Oh, like you get off on killing people. Mm-hmm. Mm. What well, do Cody? Yeah, read my behavior. Cody is a classic narcissist because he's not because he's not fidgeting (laughs) so he so he is confident in the in what he's done and see it's kind of like you kind of have to be in the in the fbi to know what i'm saying are there are there any like Mm -hmm. when you read someone's behavior yeah are there ever any like positives (laughs) well no because you're usually reading them because they've committed a murder right but in this case we have not Oh, I thought that's what you were doing. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, that's is it true. still murder if you kill someone that's like bad? Yes. Good question, and I can answer that as an agent. Yes. Um. See, I feel like you kind of make. I feel like Cody would be really nervous and feel bad for killing. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't feel bad if you killed someone. I would gaslight myself into saying that it's okay. I think. Yeah. Classic narcissist Black and sexual yeah. and sadist. sexual sadist. <laughs> you're the narcissist. You're the sexual yeah. sadist. So. Um, but no, that's not how I would hide the body. How it would was, you hide I the mean, body? that's a good way to hide a body. Actually, on the lake that I grew up in, uh, they found two bodies exactly drowned, just like that, with uh, cinder blocks tied around their legs, so they would sink. Yeah. Um, anywho, Dad, I would probably figure out a pulley lever system to raise the body into a tree. Oh, like a flag? So it's kind of <laughs> yeah. flapping in the wind? <laughs> like like that commercial when that girl Bold. that smokes weed for the first time. Oh, God, that's the worst. <laughs> like deflated? Yeah. I would deflate the I just the body. referred to that because when, I don't know if you guys watched A Ball Special, but when Ben I need to. was talking, talking about, about the feet pics, that's what I felt like on the couch. It's just like deflated, yeah. couldn't move, just yeah. couldn't believe yeah. what was happening. I wanted to, uh, my soul left my body and it just. Yeah. I mean, that was gnarly. Yeah. I couldn't believe it was real. Yeah. Um, so I, w- I think I'll be a better profiler. I'm embarrassed about my profi- my previous profiling skills, but I think I'd be a better profiler if you gave me a scenario in which you're going to hide the body and then I could tell you what that meant. Well, I don't, 
I don't envision myself killing someone. I just envision if myself did, hiding a body. If you needed to hide the body, tell me about the police system. I would pull the person way up. In, and I, mm-hmm. I we thought of this in Connecticut when I was visiting New York last time. We were mm-hmm. driving through Connecticut. And the forests are really, like, like vast. Mm-hmm. And we would raise them up. He got the travel bug. Mm-hmm. Am I right? We would, yeah. <laughs> we would raise them up. Crazy. New York, Hawaii. <laughs> like. Raise them up mm-hmm. all the way to the top. And then somehow I would climb a tree and just duct tape. Brown duct tape all the way around to where it matched the color of the bark. I would duct tape the shit out of them. And then they would decompose within the duct tape. And duct tape really doesn't decompose. But eventually they'd find the bones when the duct tape disintegrated. I don't. I mean, do you think we wouldn't notice? How often are you looking up at the top of a dead tree? body shaped lump <laughs> attached or like, to a tree? Or like there's other things like the smell of it. Like people we're talking th- about the top of a tree here. How often are you thinking or looking at the top of a pine tree? I, I'm also pretty sure that there's like planes that ride around and take radar pictures of like every like heat map square foot. Of the guys, country. I didn't say there it was full proof. So all of a sudden, there'd be, there'd be pictures of you at the top of a tree, duct taping someone's lifeless corpse. And also, the dogs would sniff that out in a second. And the dogs, exactly. You have you ever watched Criminal Minds? It's like Mind? he hasn't, no. Cody. I swear, sometimes I feel like he hasn't. You could be a good dead serial body killer because I feel like there's some sort of thing with knitting. Oh. But you would be a dead. I. You'd be a great. No, that's not what I'm saying. I. Sent a really embarrassing text to my agents, and I was like, "Hey, like, just wondering if I would have to audition to be a dead body <laughs> on the Criminal Minds reboot, or if they could, if we have connections to reach out." You want to be? A I want to be the corpse. Why? How fun? <laughs> I guess I don't I mean, want to memorize any lines. Right. I want to be in a show. I want to lay down and not exert any energy. And and just get my screen time. I feel like it's still acting though. You have to. Oh, act I could that. act my heart out. Brooke's okay. IMDb page is just her Dead laying body. in different, <laughs> all bloody and like different. She was in Criminal Minds season one, I, two, three, four, five, Victim Four. That's my dream victim role. Seven. is Dead Victim yeah. on one of these shows. Well, I, yeah, make, make it happen. happen. Yeah, let's make Hollywood? that happen. Yeah, let's get you on the silver Thank screen, you guys. Yeah, I was also going to ask if you've seen that new Mormon murder show under the banner of Heaven with. Andrew Garfield. No, have uh, I hath not. I was curious, Connor. It's pretty good, anyway, if you want to watch it. It's a murder mystery. I watch like, the it, same shows like over and over and over again. Me too. But I was going to ask you, do you, if you could describe what Mormonism is, could you? Yeah. You basically put on like a white button-up t-shirt and tuck it in. Pants should be one inch too big for you, with, it, and then you tighten your belt all the way you tuck your shirt in. You put on a tie. The Book of Mormon you have in your wow, hand. Wow, that's already more than I thought you would know. You kind of part your hair in a kind of... It's not exactly perfect way, but you've parted your hair and you look a little bit put together, but something's something's off a little bit. And then you go and you do your trip. There you go. Uh-huh. You go and you do your trip, your uh, mission trip, and then you come back. Get married Whoa. and have a yeah. ton of kids. Married and have kids, and then there's like 60 heavens or something. Oh, I didn't. I think you honestly know more than me. I was expecting that to be. I knew, I was good friends with a family of Mormons growing up. Really, I don't think they I've were ever... very bad Mormons. Really, they're bad at it. Yeah, but they were Mormon nonetheless. I don't and you know if I've give ever them met. That. I don't know if I've ever met. Yeah, bad, bad Mormon. Mormons. I actually had two Mormons in my high really? school. Really, which I've is never crazy because we did, had almost zero diversity. Oh, two really? Mormons. That's cool. Check hmm. in the box, huh? I know a couple Mormon baddies. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you Shit. meant right yeah bad mormons yeah yeah <laughs> actually my friend david archuleta is mormon shout out david by the way yeah seriously love you for babe. real yeah. yeah um shoot i was gonna say something about mormon baddies <laughs> grind train with the mormons what well, i did i forgot mormon what i was baddies. gonna say crap okay well we could always I circle feel back like it was to gonna that. be really good too we could always circle back Ooh, to damn baddies. all right Whatever. Circle Well, back. speak of the devil. Hmm. Yes. I mean, not the devil. I don't know if they have the devil in Mormon. But um, a show that they just canceled was they just took it off of the new docket for uh, Netflix. And I have nothing else to say, but I just wanted to announce because I found it really interesting. They took they, they canceled Anti-Racist Baby, a show aimed at kindergartners so that they are anti-racist babies. 
the show was called Anti Racist Baby? I think. What? 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 what can we it? can we scroll? I know that. Can we type it in and see what it was? Because I actually I just I made a note of it in my notes because I wanted to talk about it, but I couldn't remember. And it's obviously never too early to start. But I just wanted to see like a little clip of. Yeah, I would be really curious as well. Anti Racist Baby, if they have any. Uh... And the and and it's the show got canceled. Yeah, because Netflix just laid off like a shit ton of people mm. because their their uh, subscribers are down by some massive amount. And this is a real show. Netflix has pulled the plug on several animated projects, including Wings on Fire and Anti Racist Baby, a series aimed at preschoolers. I mean, it kind of sounds like it's is that a it streaming like service a comedy or something? No, I no, it's aimed at preschoolers. Yeah, I guess. I mean. Jesus, maybe that's I would a- love to to see that through the lens of a former preschool teacher. Yeah, that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. Do you think yeah. you would have aired something like that? But here's the thing: I got, are, uh-huh. I don't think like yeah. isn't that the beauty of like children and preschoolers is that they're just inherently not racist? Yeah, I don't think don't we. See... I don't think we need that. Oh, but maybe I would, they're getting. I would be really <laughs> curious know, to know. see. I just thought that that was an because inter- title I, itself. I thought is... anti racist baby would have been like a funny like social commentary piece. Right. And so I was like, oh, what was that going to be? Because that would have been probably like... Also... anti. Oh, it was right. Anti-Racist Baby based on an anti-racist scholar or something. Children's book of the same name was imagined as a series of animated vignettes set to music for preschoolers. Was that right? Vignette? Vignette? No. Oh, sorry. That's it. That's all the information they're sharing. Probably for good reason. As I bet it was... parent or a teacher, if I'm scrolling through Netflix and see Anti-Racist Baby... I, my first thought wouldn't be, let's put this on yeah. for the kids, you know? Yeah. yeah. I know everything's all good right now right. in your life, and everything seems fun, Enjoy but it. you're actually... Coco Melon! Right. That's what they like. Have you guys seen Coco Melon? Yeah. Yeah, it fucking slaps. Paw Patrol's really good as well. You guys... I've, Have you seen I've, Paw Patrol? Yeah, sometimes like I get pretty sucked into Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Really? And I won't even lie to you. Yeah, I know never a Mickey Mouse girl. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse... Come inside, it's fun inside. I've never put this on, but when it's on, it, it's pretty good. And it honestly like helps, like it almost massages your brain a little bit to like shape it. Oh, Andrew, I didn't know that yeah. about you. Yeah. So I don't know. So you watch Criminal Minds, I got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, perfect. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. Um, okay, Cody, we do, I think we have a little bit more with you here, but I also well, have, um, last week we asked, oh, do you want to do? No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of over that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we so are we boring you? No, 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 no. not at all, not at so all. So for audio listeners, we're giving Cody a second to check his phone. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, last week we asked people. I mean, we always do hot takes on yep. here, as you know, but um, we asked people for their best arrest stories. But do you want to do your hot take? Did you have a hot take? I have, I have two. Arrested at Sawcon. Okay. Well. Who fucking wrote that? <laughs> oh, damn it. Shit. Okay. Were you guys, were you going to get me? I was, we was going to try. try. <laughs> damn it. I, that's Honestly, not even... if it wasn't no. written, if it wasn't written there, I, it, it might have gotten me. Oh, and damn I, damn it. I, shit. I was revving up and I was getting nervous. We wanted to have it written there. Um, so that you wouldn't think do. anything of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh. Funniest thing. If you would have actually got me with that, you would have been fired. Shoot, really? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I just God. I, I don't is the whole fucking studio conspiring against me now? Yeah. yeah that was that, that was <laughs> yes. what I didn't want to do it. I would it. say that was 75% of our meeting yesterday was how, how, how can get we get you. in some some nuts into this conversation. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, I have two music related hot takes that came to me this week. Okay. One, Beautiful Soul by Jesse McCartney. Are you okay. familiar? I don't want another pretty face. Oh. I don't want another. What it, was I thinking? You I don't know. You are a beautiful, beautiful. soul. That's Sean Kingston. Girl, you are oh, way oh, too beautiful. beautiful. But anyway, if Jesse, Mc, like, Beautiful Soul I don't, is like a widely loved song by girls, teens, all of us as one. Mm-hmm. If I was Jesse McCartney's girlfriend right. and he wrote Beautiful Soul for me, yeah, I would... Break up with him immediately. Okay. And then check myself into an institution. Why? He, I don't want another pretty face. Don't worry. I don't want you. I don't need you to be pretty. Okay. You can be fugly. Okay. I don't want. I just want you and your beautiful soul. 
Oh, basically yeah. calling you butt ugly. Yeah, I mean, isn't that the kind of the same thing with you don't know you're beautiful? Like, no, because he's they are essentially calling you beautiful. Like you don't know you're beautiful, but you it's but, implied but, you are. But but the whole message of that song is like I want a girl who is who doesn't who isn't like aware like isn't confident enough, and she's like malleable, and I can just kind I of think, like I don't I don't. I want I, I want a self conscious girl. You want a malleable girl? No, because I think. <laughs> I mean, I just mean like talk about sexual sadist. He wants he wants the malleable. Yeah. He wants to that, form. That no, I'm saying so I've read Cody. I've read that about uh, that song. You that have? Are like yes. I oh, think, I thought like, I had an You don't know you're idea. beautiful is a really fucked up message because it's like I it's like you're you're not confident clearly. Right. You don't know how good you are. So I could take advantage of you, basically. Yeah. That's I what think, I've read. I think it's more about. Well, I, I would think, rather that than Justin McCartney calling me ugly. No, I think that this this is more about him. He's saying I don't. This is what I'm looking for. It's right. not about you. It's not about you being pretty. He's I saying, don't want you to be pretty. He's saying I don't care about looks. Yeah, I. He's would, not saying I want to. Uh, if a guy wrote a song for me that's like, don't I don't care about looks. I don't think I it's would written about so any individual. Upset. I think it's yeah. written about him. No, I know that, but I'm just saying in a world where he wrote that for me. I would hate how, it. How is, how is he doing? How's Jesse McCartney Bad. doing? Is Thanks he? For asking. Yeah, yeah Aaron Carter not that. doing too hot yeah. either. Yeah, and I don't ever want to talk about anyone's physical appearance in a negative way, but I think Jesse's had a lot of work done. Did he really? Yeah. Can we see a, yeah. Can we look, just, like, bring it, up a just like quick... look up Jesse McCartney 2022. Or not, and it's completely fine. <laughs> yeah, or, or let's option. just. My other hot take. Is it, wait, is that his Instagram? Jesse McCartney 22? No, I'm just looking oh, like Google. 2022. No, that's not even like that. He looks good there. Like there are TikToks. It, okay. Okay. I believe well, you. Well, that's, yeah. That's just, and then my other hot take is the, you know, the song, uh, uh, radioactive. That yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who sings? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I don't know, like fucking. I have fucking Maroon Five. No, no, it's 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 who sings "Sorry" it's, or who who sings "It's Too Late to Apologize." Imagine um uh. Imagine dragons. Oh, imagine Radio dragon. Act imagine act dragon. These nuts on your face. No. Yes. 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 yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> Brooke, 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 you saw the goal, you saw the finish line, and you were going for it. I was, I was literally the past 20 minutes, I was so in my head about getting No, and I was playing on my phone. Going oh my God, my, my heart is racing. I was scrolling through my I was my so phone. quiet the that past 20 good. minutes thinking about how I was going to do it. That was good. I don't understand. It was the whole Jesse McCartney thing a fucking setup for that? Yes! Yeah. That's the worst part, yeah. is that I think I'm having a genuine conversation, no, and I want to connect with you guys. And I just get fucking trampled. Well, I will say the Jesse McCartney thing was a tr was an original thought I had, but I don't know if I would have brought it up if it wasn't a way to lead me to Imagine Dragon. And I'm offering and Imagine I'm like, Dragon these Carter. nuts. Yeah, and I'm saying no. And, then, uh, and I thought you knew, and that's why you said Maroon Five. But you didn't get it. You didn't get me a hundred percent because you said yes, I um, did. No, you said a no, ma yeah. You said a Magan. No, I all. did not rewind say a magan. Tape. Rewind okay. the tape. She said a magan dragon. A magan uh, dragon. These nuts on your face. Well, I was pa I was panicking. Said, I'm still shaking. <laughs> I'm just. I'm trying to save a no. little bit of face right now. And if I did say a magan, that's you making fun of my speech impediment. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what What kind of speech impediment makes you say g? <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> Is it a speech impediment? I'm just fucking <laughs> mortified right now, and I have to pee. I do too. So bad. Uh, well, fucking, I just. <sighs> do you, do you, you guys are fucking fired. No, Cody, fired. Seriously, I got really scared when you said it a few <laughs> twenty minutes <laughs> ago, like, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I can't do it." <laughs> no, oh, I can't. I can't. I couldn't well, fire you. I like. I love the show too much. I love you guys. Well, we and, love, we love um, you. Sorry, and again for get for kind of just besting you. No, in you know, that in that way. And it's. I understand. There's a conspiracy now. Everyone is. I think that was to me. That's pretty well done. Thank you. I have you. to say, and I was. I was. I kept. I was kind of chugging along. Maroon Five. I thought I was like, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then Timbaland. <laughs> <laughs> Too late to apologize. Um, so yeah. at the, in conclusion. Fist me, am I dreaming? <laughs> nice. 
Catch us next week. A bunch of full We're here every week. Brooke and Connor make a podcast. You can find us B and C M A P on Instagram. And that's um, and Twitter, in addition, as well as YouTube, Brooke and Connor make a podcast, of course. Yeah. Listen Co- everywhere you get podcasts. I guess I'll save my arrest story because <laughs> Cody, Cody Co., if you guys know him, has to pee really bad. So, but thanks, and Cody, for Cody, coming where, on. Cody, people, you can find him on um, TMG. What's That's, your, on I, TMG? What's, what's your hand? You can find me right here yeah. on this channel. TMGtours.com, yeah. Squarespace. I think Squarespace is, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks, coming. Th- seriously, Cody. For it's me. an honor.